Today we're checking out the SimJack manual shifter. I'm also performing a teardown in this review, so we'll check out how it looks inside and how it works. Um, also, there's a link in the description to my initial unboxing for this hardware, so you might find that interesting too. I picked up mine from AliExpress. That's the place to find the best price for this shifter. It can be difficult to search for this on AliExpress as there are quite a few listings for shifters on that website. So I've pinned a product page link in the comments section of this video. The shifter weighs in at 1.1 kilograms. Everything you see in front of you is metal. The enclosure and gear knob are aluminium. The gear lever is stainless steel. The edges and corners of the box are all softened with a neat bevel finish. The gear knob is height adjustable. At its lowest setting, the overall height of the SimJack shifter is 22 centimeters and fully extended is 24 centimeters. There's a clear positive tactile snap engaging gears. The gear stick is held by a constant spring tension, preventing any looseness or play. I measured the tension at just over one kilogram. These backlit buttons can be mapped to in-game functions. These M6 threaded holes match the Thrustmaster TH-8A shifter, so it's quite possible if you have a pre-drilled turnkey shifter mount on your rig, the SimJack shifter will already be compatible. SimJack also have a table clamp, it's not included as standard, it is sold separately. This is a mechanism I'm familiar with and some of you out there will have seen this before. All those budget AliExpress manual shifters use this contraption and I've shown you this already in those reviews. However, the mechanism here is basically upside down, reversed, and the pincers are holding the gear lever in a lowered position rather than at the top, but essentially doing the same job. It's all metal and springs and that has proved to be reliable and robust in those other shifters I've used, so I expect the same here too. The tiny rectangles at the end of the gear gates are the Hall effect sensors that pick up the proximity of the magnet, and that's how this device communicates input. The H pattern shape that directs the path of the gear lever is cut from plastic. It has a little bit of flex, so it does appear to have good stress resistance, possibly nylon, uh, using plastic and not metal makes sense for the purpose of reducing noise output, and I expect that's the reason we see that here. For reference, I recorded this teardown footage right at the end of my testing for this review for the express purpose to examine this plastic part, and it's not displaying any wear or tear, so that's good. 
All these budget shifters almost look identical, but side by side, the Simjack shifter is slightly larger. Next to it is the Project D shifter, and that represents the typical size and design of the other shifters sold on AliExpress. I'm mounting the shifter to my 8020 profile rig, so let me quickly share my solution. This is a standard 4040 angle bracket that I filed to accommodate the shifter threaded holes. You may have watched my other reviews for the shifters using this format of internal mechanism, in which case you're going to hear some of the same sort of things. Though being that the gear lever is longer and the spring tension pincers holding the stick are lower, this alters the leverage against the parts holding all this together. Compared to the Project D shifter, the Simjack has 1kg of tension, the Project D has 1.5kg and that is closer to the typical tension of the other budget shifters. So the Simjack is lighter on the shifting tension. That didn't bother me, the shifts still have a positive tactile snap, it still feels good. Possibly some people might find this easier to use as you don't need as much deliberate force to push and pull through the shifts. Throughout my testing, I didn't struggle to find the gears. I had no misshifting issues and no problems with the gear stick catching on the gates preventing a shift. I'm finding the Simjack to be a reliable and easy to operate smooth shifter. Being that this is a metal box and metal parts inside, it feels substantial and solid. It can take abuse, you don't need to be delicate with it. That's a characteristic I like from my sim gear. It makes it feel more authentic and closer to the real thing. And that's what well-designed sim racing hardware can do, close the gap between the illusion and reality. A complaint that some people have with these budget shifters is they can be noisy. The Simjack is definitely a bit quieter than the other AliExpress ones I've reviewed. So that could be useful for some people out there that need that. It's not silent of course, um, but I quite like the clunk it makes. I don't think it's too noisy. Uh, maybe still too loud for some people to run at night, but I don't think it's too bad. In regards to the other AliExpress budget shifters I've reviewed, I found they worked great for me and I recommended those. And I can also recommend the Simjack shifter too. Price wise, Simjack is a little bit more expensive than the others, but also a bit more refined. We have a custom board, the cheaper ones use an Arduino, and the overall appearance of the Simjack is more polished. So you're getting more for your money, so it's fair enough in that respect. I'm enjoying using this Simjack shifter, it's a great feeling shifter, looks really neat. Solid build quality. It's a good one. I like it and I think you will too. And that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching my review. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and subscribing. If you want to support what I do, hit the join button and become a channel member. And don't forget, I'll be back soon with something new. So until next time, happy simming and bye bye.